morning guys. I am drinking my coffee and I'm planning out some of my stickers finally came in. I got some Disney World stickers and some like YouTube ones and then they sent me this like little winter freebie one but I think I'm I might end up saving this for like next year. But um yeah so I'm currently adding to my planner. Let me show you guys. So I got my YouTube ones so I have you know for editing, uploading and filming and then See, it was kind of messy because I didn't know I was getting these stickers, so I got to cover this up because it's kind of ugly. And then I'm adding in, like, our dinner reservations and then our fast classes and everything like that. And then for, like, the blank ones right here for, like, um, filming my uh, Disney World haul for my vlog channel and then, you know, editing and everything like that. So, you know, just adding into my planner with my new stickers. I just got these two sheets and then this was the freebie they sent. So, yeah, I've been using these. Oh yeah, and then it came with like these little like what Disney Park you're going to. So I have these ones that I'm putting in my actual um the four days we're gonna be there. So the first day we're gonna be going to Animal Kingdom. So yeah. So it is a beautiful day. It is 56. It's supposed to get up to like 64 degrees today. So we're just gonna go have a day out or at least a few a few hours out. So I packed up the girls and we're going over to Walmart, I think. I'm going to check out their Happy Planner stickers. See if they have like the fitness expansion. And I'm going to get my eyebrows done. We're going to get some lunch. We're going to go to the park. The reason we're not going to the park first is I want to wait till it warms up a little more. Because I want them to be able to not have jackets at all at the park because jackets can be obnoxious. So we are off. Um, Funny story that just happened. So I went grocery shopping last night, just for a like, small amount of groceries, just like produce. Cause I I'm, tree. you wanna go to the Dollar Tree? Well, let's go Walmart. Yeah? So, um, maybe we'll go to the Dollar Tree later. We'll see. She loves going to Dollar Tree. Anyways, back to my story. So I went grocery shopping last night just to get produce. Cause I'm gonna make my healthy chicken stir fry. And so I had to get like bok choy, broccoli, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, so I bring all the bags inside, I thought. Luckily, it is the middle of winter because I just got in the car and I was putting like the diaper bag down and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, why is there broccoli in my car? Totally forgot that I went to the grocery store for like a split second. And I was like, oh wait. So I left one of the bags in my car, but it was okay because it was so cold overnight that it was just basically like being in the refrigerator. But <laughs> Oh, it was pretty funny. Um, I'll, yeah, so I ran inside, put them in the fridge because it is gonna warm up today, but I felt like a dum dum because I left one of the bags. But it was understandable because it was under a coat, so. Well, not totally under a coat, but anyways, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> on the radio back in 2008 that was like when all the good music was on the radio I mean aside from like classic rock or you know that kind of music I'm talking like pop the number one time was 2008 that's when it was at like its peak of awesomeness and now it's just like I only turn the radio off if like I hear a song from you know back in the day 
when you know me and my best friend Alicia we would be cruising around sorry guys I thought I had a green arrow my bad when we'd be cruising around in her 91 Camaro with the tops off because it was t-tops so you could just take them off so it was a hard top, but hard top you could remove on a Camaro it was awesome. They don't make those anymore, I don't think. Anyways, so we would just be cruising around when they'd be playing poker phase and like when Katy Perry was good. Like I don't like the new Katy Perry. I like Katy Perry, like her breakout album that just like, uh, what was it? Like one of the boys, I think that was the name of the album. That was like the, that album was genius. And now she doesn't make that kind of music anymore and so I don't really listen to her anymore. I listen to that album, but I don't like her new stuff at all. Sorry guys if you do, but me personally, I am not a fan of her new stuff. But I mean, like every song in that album was genius. Those were the good days of music for pop. I mean, I do prefer rock. I'm more of like a rock metal kind of girl. But if I do listen to pop, 2007, 2008, two, like only beginning 2009. Um, oh, here we go. Close spot. Um, so those were the good days. They don't have that kind of stuff anymore, though. I mean, there are a few good songs here and there. Like, songs I can't help but sing to. Like, the song Call Me Maybe. I don't necessarily like the song, but I can't not dance when it comes on. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just one of those songs. But, uh, we're gonna go inside and see what they have. It's a somewhat successful Walmart trip. I didn't get what I went there for because I didn't have it, but that's fine. Because, I mean, I'm already like two weeks ahead on planning my planner. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you what I got. Let me get the AC rolling because it is so hot. Ugh. AC, 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 please. We'll just pull there. I'm going to pull in right over here because I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I want to give Marissa a little time to nap. So, let me pull in. Right here. Okay. All right. So I did get a few things that weren't um, makeup or anything. So I found this really cute. Okay, that was makeup. It's so weird. Yeah, I found this really cute basket because all of my planner stuff and like scrapbooking stuff is just like throughout the house. So I wanted to get something that is cute and can store everything and it looks different than everything else, just so that I know it's the storage for this. So I got this cute little basket. It was like a dollar fifty. And it's gold. They had a bronze one, a gold one, a silver one, a black one, um, and I wanted the gold one. So, yeah, it's really cute, and it'll fit all of my washi tape, and my stickers, and my 2018, because a pack I got from Costco it came with both 2017 and 2018. So I'll put my 2018 pack in there as well. So I got that. Then I got two more journals because I'm a big, I'm big into like journaling. That's why I do the planner thing. That's why I have like a fitness journal. I love the journal. And I didn't have one for like, so when I'm filming videos, I lose track of like what I'm trying to say a lot of the time. So, because I don't like have an outline, like I don't write down everything I want to say. So uh, I have two that I bought. Um, I bought another one for my fitness because I'm filling mine up. And I like this one because it says, yes, you can, which fits perfectly for, you know, fitness. And I got this one that says, hello, superstar. I mainly got it because I like the polka dots. Um, and so I got this one for writing down video ideas. And, um, like, if I am doing a talk through video, for example, like, if I'm t discussing a product, I want to write down all the points that I want to touch base on. So I got this for that reason as well. And all of this kind of stuff can, like, go right in here, too. So then I just got three makeup items. I was gonna get the concealer as well, but um, I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. So I just got two of the Photo Focus foundations. I got the one in Nude Ivory and Soft Beige. Right now I'm Nude Ivory, and then when I use my Jurgen Natural Glow on Soft Beige, I'm gonna have to go back and get the medium one for later for when I go to Hawaii because I am not going to buy it when I'm in Hawaii because it'll be so expensive but I'm going to be a lot tanner then just because you know I'm going to be living on an island for three years so I'm going to need to get some deeper shades of foundation. So my phone cut me off earlier because I ran out of space because I forgot to delete my old video from here but the last thing I got was one of the the liquid, the Megalos liquid catsuit matte lipsticks so one of the liquid lipsticks. Um, they didn't have a lot of options at Walmart they were sold out basically all of them. There was this one an orange one and a red one and I went with you know this one because I have so many red 
liquid lipsticks and yeah I don't blend this color so I guess to try it out before I get more of these um, I would start with one so I got this one anyways um, we ended up going to the park I was gonna vlog that but um, like I said I didn't have space so I had to go empty out my phone when I got home but yeah I'm feeling a little nauseous right now just because um, I don't know, I'm just feeling nauseous. I think I just need to drink some water or take a nap or something, but I can't really take a nap because I'm watching kids. Watch my kids, so I'm just gonna drink some water, do some cleaning up, and um, yeah. Hey guys, just got done filming part of a video. I'm doing a wear test of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation that I got today. So, you'll see what I think in my beauty video. I'll have a link below in a few days. <laughs> Anyways, hey Jules, you watching a show? Yeah. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> All right. My other dog should be waking up any minute now. I miss her. I want to smooch her. I need to brush my hair. My hair is so just like greasy today. I don't know why. I Oh, I forgot to put in dry shampoo. That is why I feel so grilledy right now. Where is my brush? You guys, I like never brush my hair. So that's why I can never find my hairbrush. So then when I do decide to brush my hair, it's just a hot mess. It's a hot damn mess. Um, I think I brought it with me in intentions to brush my hair, but they never brushed it. So it's probably in the decker bag. Um, yep, here it is. Because I thought, okay, let's brush my hair later. And then I didn't. Ugh. Anyways. Ouch. 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 And then suddenly, I look like a human being. There we go. I love how I brush my hair after I film the video. <laughs> All right, so flipping and vacuuming underneath the couch has been successful. Look, unused carpet, used carpet. Like you can just see the difference. Like see how it's like light here and darker here. It's so funny to me. All right, I gotta put the vacuum back and I gotta flip the couch back over. And then continue on with my journey. All right, phase two is complete. I wiped down the coffee table or the end tables, reorganized everything, got down the picture frames, vacuumed the couch, and then did my side. And then I vacuumed in front of the couch. So phase two is done. Now I put all the pillows back on the couch and move on. Yay! Hi, so I'm gonna show you a little recipe. Um, I do a lot of meal prep when I'm trying to cut some weight or eat healthy because yeah, that's what I do. So I'm going to show you my favorite meal prep to do. Um, it is Asian chicken stir fry. So let me show you what you need. So basically you can do whatever veggies you want, but my favorite combination for this is bok choy or baby bok choy. Sometimes I'll combine it. When we're on a tight budget, I get bok choy my candle. because baby bok choy costs a little more than bok choy, but I just got some bok choy, some fresh ginger, some green onions, some carrots. Usually I would do zucchini, but I only have a cucumber. So cucumber, bell peppers, mushrooms, green beans. You can add in some Thai chilies or jalapenos for spiciness, garlic. And then the three seasonings I use is the Simply Asia Stir Fry Seasoning Blend. It's sweet ginger garlic. And then I do the hibachi, which I sprinkle all over the chicken when I'm cooking it. Some sesame seeds. I like to get the toasted ones. And then some sesame oil. So first I cook the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Alright, so to cook the chicken, you just load this whole thing up with sesame oil. I mean, you can use regular cooking oil, but I religiously use sesame oil. And I'm going to need some... Mm, actually, that might be fine. So... Let that go around, and this is just so we can brown the chicken. I'm gonna season it with some pepper and some salt, and then I'm gonna let it heat up so I can toss the chicken. Yeah, well, All right, so while the chicken is while the oil is heating up, so I can put hang on, Smitty. So while the oil is heating up, so I can cook the chicken. I'm gonna start cutting everything up. Um, you always do spices and herbs and all that kind of stuff first because they take the longest to cook. So I'm gonna cut up the garlic and the ginger first. Then I'm moving to the green onion and then the green beans, then the peppers. Then the cucumber, carrots, and bok choy goes last. So I'm gonna just cut all this up and get to cooking. All right, so I just tossed the chicken in, so I'm gonna let this brown. You don't wanna cook it all the way through. I mean, most of the way. I'd say you wanna cook it like 80% through. You wanna wait till the entire sides look like this right here. 
So I'm going to let this cook a little bit while I finish cutting the veggies. All right. So this isn't all of it. I still have to do the carrots, which I don't really chop up. I still have to do the cucumber. I gotta put these in, put these. But these are all the ones that have to go in initially. So yeah, I'm gonna pull the chicken off and then put these on soon. But yummy! The chicken is getting there. I'm gonna crank it up because it's taking a little too long for my taste. So once this is cooked, I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna put it back in this bowl. Of course, I washed it out, and then you add all the veggies. That way, you only need one, one pan. This is a wok, by the way. Woks are best to use because they're really deep, so they can fit a lot of stuff in. This is a 12-inch wok, and we love it. But I think it's time to upgrade to a new one. This thing has been around for years and years and years and years. So, yeah. All right, traced the chicken over it. Added more sesame oil. So now I'm going to start adding everything else. All right, first comes, oh, first comes the green green onions, garlic, and uh, ginger. And I'm gonna cook these until they are fragrant. And I'm gonna add the uh, green beans and bell peppers. All right, so now we got the cucumbers in there, we got carrots in there, the bell peppers, green beans. Starting to look real yummy in here. Let's add some seasoning. I'm gonna be adding a mixture of these two right here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that you also add in some soy sauce. I don't measure anything out. I kind of just add stuff. You kind of do it to taste. And we really like soy sauce. And since it's a lot of food I'm making, I don't... I would say I do about six tablespoons. Or, yeah, about six tablespoons. No, five, four or five tablespoons of soy sauce. Um, just to cook in with everything, give it some flavor. I love, love making this meal, you guys. It's so yummy. All right, so what I did is I cut off the white ends of the bok choy. Not like the very, very, very end like this, but I mean the thicker part of the white ends. I chopped those up since they take a little longer to cook up and they don't wilt like the leaves do, but it still has the flavor of the bok choy. I'm putting that in now. Then I'm going to add the chicken back in and then I'm going to put the regular bok choy on top. Well, I mean the leaves on top. And then add some more seasoning and we will be done. So I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then we are going to add the chicken back in. This thing starts to get really full, I'm serious guys. It's a lot of food. So, and I mean this is meal prep, this will last like four days, four or five days. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this, I love it. And then I have to meal prep my vegetable soup tomorrow. All right, I have added the chicken back in, so now we're gonna let it all cook together. So then the veggies will get some chicken flavoring. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. So, yeah, and for this amount of food, a simmer, when you want to simmer, you still have to have it like half for this amount of food, but I want it to cook a little bit, so I'm putting it up to medium high. But, yummy! Now I'm gonna start making the rice. Rice is optional, but my husband likes to have rice. I always skip the rice, but my husband wants it, so I'm gonna make some rice. And um, guys, that's seriously it. I mean, this is just simmering for a little bit, but it's basically done. I'm just basically trying to keep it warm because my husband will be home any minute. So yeah, that's how I meal prep. This will last quite a few days for the both of us. And yeah. All right, I filmed the final check-in for my wear test for that foundation. I did my workout, it was like two and a half hours long and I feel great right now. I like how so much muscle. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta eat something I had dinner yet and it's like 10.45 at night so I'm just gonna have a snack because I hate eating late at night. I hate it. I don't like eating past seven, so. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap the. Da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna wrap up the rack up. See, I can't even talk. I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I'm going to chill with my husband for like 30 or 40 minutes and go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow.